Okay, gonna try something a bit, a bit slower. Five minute game now. That's interesting. Okay, so the answer is it ain't that easy. Not a three, however, is a bit of an inaccuracy. Because now I get c4, then bishop to f5, and knight to h5. And yeah, this is the kind of position as as black. You're you're happy since you're definitely not worse and probably already a bit better. But people who played with white aren't too unhappy either, because this is um, um, at least before the London system got popular. This is. Um, the kind of position people were, were used to getting. Um, you just didn't really play the, the London for an advantage. Just You just wanted a solid position where you can play, which with no pretension of playing for an advantage, just uh, not necessarily even for, for equality, just, uh, just a position. So should I castle or is that premature? It doesn't feel like my opponent has particularly evil intentions, I have to say. So I can go knight a5, but I feel like he goes rook a to e1, knight b3, queen d1. I'm not sure what I like. What I've, um, what's the word, achieved. And uh, so I'm trying to just push b4 instead. I guess I can just go b4 immediately. After general exchanges, then uh, then I would have had rook b8 and stacking up on the on the b pawn. Queen b2 was a terrible move. <laughs> he had the chance there of um, uh, of playing. Uh, Something. Uh, F5. Exactly, F5, and then I would have to play rook b8 in order to discourage rook b1. It's not like my position would have been bad, it's just that now I'm clearly better, and in that case it would have been, been unclear. I'm just trying to calculate if gf is any good. If ef, then I will take on c2, everything takes on c2, take on d4, and a1 will hang in the end. I can take on c2, but it doesn't have to take back. That's the that's the problem. You can go fg, for instance. Um, okay, so it's going for fg, and then. Knight of three, which is sensible. I just go bishop f6, protect, and he doesn't have any attacks. Actually, bishop f6 is a really lazy move. Could have gone rook b3, just winning c3 and getting clear advantage. I suppose that possibility won't run away, but. Uh, yeah, this is unfortunately bad for him because he just loses a piece of Quincy to take back and um, take on g5. And if uh, rook c2, I just uh, take on a1. That's going to be the ball game. Now my 
Rook from b2 is protecting uh, protecting my queen, so he doesn't have time to to make an in-between move. Guess I'll just go king g7. He has to go knight h3, I guess. But in reality, the outcome of the game isn't that much in doubt at this point. It's uh, it's very much a care. A case of being a rook up for for very little. I guess I'll just go rook h8. G4 is impossible. I push the pawn. Why not? He's fighting as best as he can, but it's a, it's a lost cause. I guess I'll just take on g5. It's a bit brutal, but knight e6, queen e6, queen g6. I don't think that was very good, but feels like a decent way to get the game over with. Now king f3, f5 traps the bishop, so. That was the little trap I was hoping for. He doesn't give up though. But it's starting to look pretty bad. And that's the rook. So now really in for it. Okay, good game. Let's go on to the next.